Welcome to Great Episodes in Gibbs History. Today, we'll be talking about the very first Gibbs structure, the sod house. Nope, not that one. That one. When Jane and Heman Gibbs first arrived on this land in the spring of 1849, their first order of business was to make a shelter. Originally, their claim shanty was really just a roof supported by four poles with a camp stove and some makeshift furniture. They did the tiny house thing before it became popular. Before winter arrived, they dug a cellar topped with four short walls of logs and roofed with prairie sod. So even though we often refer to this first home as a soddy, it is more accurately described as a combination of dugout, log cabin, and sod house. Each element contributed to the overall usability of the home. For example, the earthen walls helped insulate the home, keeping the air cool during the summer and warm during the winter. The sod roof could absorb rainwater, to an extent, and could act as camouflage to any unwelcome passers-by. This hybrid home was originally topped with a wooden barrel chimney. This would later become a problem. Jane and Heman's son Frank, who himself never lived in this house, recounted the incident involving the chimney catching fire. Apparently, Heman had to rush onto the sod roof in order to kick the blazing chimney away from the house. So from the fall of 1849 to the summer of 1854, Jane and Heman resided in the half underground log and sod cabin. It was about 8 by 12 feet. For the first two years, they had no neighbors for miles. Early on, when Heman was often off cutting timber, Jane would need to climb a tree in order to spot the area where he was working. Tree climbing is an often undervalued skill. In an 1897 interview, Jane recalled a visit from a Minneapolis clergyman and his wife to this humble abode. Apparently, the visitors were surprised at the living conditions, and they gave Heman and Jane a dollar which Heman later took care to repay with interest. Jane also mentioned that she and Heman used to look back on the event and laugh. Evidently, this later became an inside joke between the two of them. As Heman prepared fields, Jane focused on feeding the two of them. Reportedly, she was an excellent marksman with the rifle. Heman, on the other hand, not so much. They ate prairie chickens, quail, ducks, wild geese, and more as well as the produce from their small garden, over which they were often at war with gophers. Fish were abundant, as were wild fruits. After several years, Jane and Heman were able to begin building their second, larger and more permanent home. This would later be added to and adapted to the farmhouse that has been preserved until today. The log and sod home would be used for a time, but by the time the youngest Gibbs children were born, the house had essentially disappeared. Much of our knowledge regarding the Gibbs' first home comes from interviews with the family, However, the exact location of the building was located and excavated in the mid-1990s. But that and the plethora of discoveries are for another day. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about the original, original Gibbs House. Take a second to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Gibbs Farm YouTube channel so that you don't miss any future installments of great episodes in Gibbs history.